Creating art is often an emotional experience. Creators pour their thoughts and feelings into a piece with the hope that they'll evoke an emotional response from their audience. Rosebud-based artist Tawny Gordon uses pencil and paint to create otherworldly images of people and animals. Often she blends the two together. Her abstract style includes blocks of vivid colors, geometric shapes, and small details that only reveal themselves after thorough inspection. I almost look at my artwork like a coloring book in a way. Like I'll draw out like a simple linear drawing and then I'll start filling all of the solid empty negative space with color. And it kind of all kind of flows together. Gordon uses her personal experiences for inspiration. And each piece comes with a story. Sometimes it's as ordinary as a relationship breakup or perhaps watching an animal. And then there are other pieces that come from complicated moments, like the reaction to the Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Some people have called my work dreamy, psychedelic, surreal, whimsical. Recently, some lady said my work is frightening. To me, that was like a compliment, like thank you, because it's causing a reaction in someone. And that I think, you know, art is about bringing emotions up in its own way. The 38-year-old is an emerging artist. She has a bachelor's degree in art, but still works odd jobs to pay her bills while she tries to become a full-time artist. Typically, she has a busy summer, selling to stores and traveling for art shows. But COVID-19 has made that much more difficult. Now, basically, I just try to sell jewelry, like as my bread and butter. And then the other half is trying to sell my artwork at markets or online or to other people. Gordon is selling her work on social media and under the name Little Money Designs. For South Dakota Public Broadcasting, I'm China Lockett in Rapid City.